Summertown and Lawrence County get set to renew their rivalry on Friday at the Ralph. Loretto prepares to take on Creekwood. Plus, North Alabama has some more hires to its coaching staff, and one of its players got named to a prestigious list. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm AJ Good, starting things off with high school basketball, where another big rivalry will go down at the Ralph on Friday. Summertown will make its way to Lawrence County as more bragging rights will be on the line. Starting first with the home squad on Friday night in Lawrence County. The Wildcats are coming off a pair of overtime wins over rival Loretto on Tuesday. Their final games at the barn. Each side is sitting with just one loss on the season. The girls at 8-1 and the boys at 7-1. Each team had a lot going on in the last couple of weeks around the holidays. And rivalry week is a good chance to get their emotions going in a packed house. It's a, it's a fun week and I, I always look forward to playing. I look forward to playing our rival schools as a player and I look forward to coaching in them. It's a lot of fun um, and I, I, we're just going to try to have fun with it and, and do the best that we can and give it our best shot. You play those teams just like I, I wouldn't think Loretta or Summertown would have a hard time getting up for us. We shouldn't have a hard time you know, getting up for them and it's just a question of being able to, to put that out of your mind and don't let that affect how you play. Play hard and intense. But I mean, it's going to be, there'll be two big crowds. Uh, like I say, it's, it's a big rivalry and we just have to put it in the proper perspective and play the way we want to play. And, you know, it'd be a great atmosphere. If you're a competitor, you really ought to be excited about playing in games like that. Now over to Summertown where they split on the road at Spring Hill last night. The girls won big while the boys lost their third game of the season. Now both sides will make their way to the route for the first of two matchups with the Wildcats this year. Both teams know they will face a very stiff test on Friday and it will prepare them for what's ahead during the district and region season. Absolutely, you know, in this kind of atmosphere too, that's what's going to be fun. Um, but, you know, we're just looking to get better and, 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 and learn some things, toughness, handling the basketball, those kind of things, and, and you know, we'll see what happens. It is, and that's what, it's, it's good, you know. It's, it's getting us better quicker. Uh, you know, last night we played, we hit nine threes, but I felt like we didn't shoot the ball well, so that's a good thing. You know, we have room for improvement offensively. Uh, we, we're taking care of the ball, we just got to continue to do that. Now over to Loretto, who will be back at the barn on Thursday night, taking on Creekwood. The Mustangs are coming off a pair of overtime losses to rival Lawrence County on Tuesday night. Now each side will have big tests coming their way on Thursday. Creekwood will make their way to the barn for a doubleheader. The Red Hog girls are 7-1 while the boys are 3-6. Both Loretto squads will go through a gauntlet of tough teams in the next few days, and this is just another in the line. The next five games really are, it, it's one of those that you got to show up every night or, you, or there's a game you may lose. You know, we've got Lawrence County, we've got Creekwood, we've got USJ, and then some other good teams over there in the Gibson County Tournament, so we've got to be ready to play. Big week, you know, our next seven days, um, we've got three really good opponents. Starts with Lawrence County tomorrow night, then we got Creekwood coming here Thursday, and then next Monday in Lawrenceburg we play um, BGA. Um, in, in Lawrence County's Christmas tournament. So we've got three really good opponents for us. Coming up next, we head on over to college football. Check in with everything that's going down with North Alabama. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring and More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring and More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. 
Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931 two. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. From the X Sports Network, this is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to X Sports tonight. Now over to college football where a lot of things are happening over at North Alabama. Yesterday, one of their stars got named to a prestigious list and they continue to add names to their coaching staff. Shunderick Powell was named an Associated Press FCS All-American. The running back was a first-team All-Conference selection and was named the ASUN Offensive Player of the Year. The sophomore from Arkansas had over 1,750 all-purpose yards and 18 touchdowns for the Lions in 2022. He ran for over 100 yards in seven games this season, with four of those over 200 yards. He is the first Lion in program history to record more than two 200-yard rushing performances in his career, and 10 of his 18 scores came from 30 yards or longer. Longer. And on the coaching staff side, head coach Brent Dearman added Mark St. Felix as the defensive backs coach and Morgan Cruz as the running backs coach. St. Felix comes to UNA after stints at Florida, Florida State, and FAU. And Cruz comes to Florence after one year as a head coach at Brighton High School in Tennessee. He also spent four years as the offensive coordinator at Bethel. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.